All right, so this is going to be an Amazon item review unboxing. All right, this is the Jaden's Label Maker Machine um, with tape. It's a D110 portable Bluetooth label printer. So you can see on here, they wrote Nimbot. All right, anyways, uh, this is for making like storage, shipping, barcodes, mailing, office, home, organizing, sticker, mini label maker. All right, whatever, I'm just reading the thing. Um, all right, so you can see Jaden's Nimbot. All right, um, this is a label printer with a 1500 milliamp hour battery. Um, input is five volt, one amp. So it's just like a standard USB connector charger. All right, um, color is white. And then they have their email and their website there and their uh, manufacturing information. Also it's Bluetooth for iOS and Android. Okay, then they have, of course, the app. Um, so I'm guessing the app is Nimbot, N-I-I-M-B-O-T. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this up. So I'm going to just cut through the plastic here. I'm going to try and like cut through the side as well here. Oops. To try and open this up this way. Cut it, cut it. Let's see if it works. Okay. So... The plastic open there we go and then we're gonna try and drop this out okay there we go all right so box is very plain and it has like this label i don't know if that's like a serial number or what Let's set that aside here we have the quick start guide all right and the device um it charges with usb-c um so i'm assuming you can just use any usb-c device to charge it and we're gonna Take it out it looks like this okay and there's not really much else in the box this thing is solid in there okay and then i'm sure that's the power button they have this to open it so pop that sideways you might have to keep holding it to open it but there we go and it comes with this roll of this label making stuff all right t15 by 30 but um and then 210 white pz0 e b 0 8 0 0 3 0 1 0 2 1 0 invalid if torn um that's what it says and it says direct thermal label okay and it says to open it here so oh okay so it has like the individual labels already pre-cut i thought it was like you can cut it yourself so this is actually you're stuck with this specific size you see that how small that is okay anyways i'm gonna peel this off so we're gonna peel that off to take this oops sorry so we peel it off that way um uh, that kind of sucks that you're restricted to that label i thought you can print like as long of a label as you wanted maybe you have to buy specific rolls of label stuff for that so let me measure this okay this label, um, I'm gonna start from here so I can see, is just over an inch. It's like an inch and um, an inch and an eighth, okay. And in centimeters, it's uh, two, three, four, three centimeters. Yeah, it's about three centimeters or an inch and an eighth of an inch. Okay, so we have this roll. And because I always like to go over the manuals, let's go ahead and do that. Um, I do need to plug this thing in probably to charge it. So I'm just going to plug this in. This is a MacBook charger and maybe it doesn't work with a MacBook charger because nothing is happening. So yeah, it doesn't look like it's charging with a MacBook charger. So I'm probably going to have to get a battery pack and charge it with that. So um, let me go get a battery pack and I'll do that. All right, so I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So I got this battery pack. This one kind of shows the voltage and stuff that's going out. So let's go ahead and plug it in to the, this comes with this short little USB cable. And then we'll plug this in and see if anything happens. And now this light is blinking, okay? And you can see here, 5.1 volts, 0 0.4 amps. So it's charging at 5.1 volts, 0 0.4 amps. I don't know how accurate that thing is because 
when I was charging it, I plugged it in and then it was showing different stuff. But anyways, we're charging it now. You can see it's flashing. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and look over the quick start guide. Nimbot D110. Contents. Okay, you can see that. All right, comes with one roll. And you can see that as well. USB type C cable and the guide. All right, installation. Got this, Nimbot open slide. All right, slide left to open the lid. All right, so you open it that way, fit label paper into the compartment with the print side facing down. Okay. Fit the print paper into the compartment with the print side facing down and the first label paper sticking out tear off the opening, out of the tear off opening. Wait, so you're gonna lose one label. <laughs> All right, slide to the right to close the paper compartment. Hold the indicator light, uh, indicator light power button. Hold down the power button for three seconds to switch on the printer. So right now it's charging. Okay. Are we going to be chopping off the first one or is it going to suck it in? Anyways, here you go. Installing the app. Before using the printer, please install the Nimbot app from Google Play or the App Store. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I got my phone here. Nimbot, let me see, okay, and then we're just going to install, and it's installing, and then we're going to have to open this up. My screen has like all these watermarks all over it, let me clean that off real quick. That's what I get for cooking and using my phone, alright. Okay, you can see it's still charging. Clean my phone off a little bit here. Oh, I need water to clean it because it's water-based stuff from soup. So we'll clean that. Uh, grease. Okay. Whatever. Okay, good enough. Let's open this up again. Okay, so we'll open the app. And it goes to this user agreement stuff. Whatever, we'll agree. Okay. View the help guide. Or you can skip it okay it's asking which model so we got the d110 series <clears throat> okay the reason why i'm not saying the price is because the price always changes so you'll want to check the price at the time um, but if you want to know what i paid for it let me see here open loading okay so what i paid for it at the time I think they had some sale, um, $23.99, and then it had, um, I think, a 10% discount, so total was $23.61, because I had, there was tax, which is here, almost 10%. Anyways, so here you can see, operating guide, got it, unbox it, press the power button, and it says connect the printer. So we're going to press this. I didn't turn it on yet, but let's see what happens. So you're going to have to allow uh, to find and connect to other devices or whatever nearby devices so allow and it says unconnected so we'll tap that oh I guess it turned on when I plugged it into charge and then it shows this uh, pairing with a pass key we're just gonna say pair and hopefully it says it's connecting it didn't tell me I didn't see if that video was telling me to do something specific anyways <clears throat> so here you go get the app Okay, connecting the printer. Open the app. Turn on the Bluetooth on your phone. All right, it's already on. Open the home. Tap connect smart label printer. Then select the device. If a pin code is required, input 0000 or uh, 1234. After connecting, tap the current label template on the home tab. Enter. Okay, well, how do you type a uh, pin? It didn't ask. So when I press this, nothing happens. Let's try holding this. Oh. Okay, so see, it shows its own passkey here, so I don't know what to do. Cancel? No? <laughs> Let's just hold the button down. Okay, so it made a sound, so I guess now it's on. Let's say pair. It's going to work now. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. Anyways, tells you to put in that pin, but it didn't give me a thing. And then it says, after connecting, tap on current label template, and then whatever they have this uh, special notes 
<coughs> images of products, accessories, and whatever. Okay. So you go. Basic functions. Hold down the power button for three seconds to turn it on. Hold down the power button for three seconds to turn it off. Um, it does have a print history thing. Press the power button once when the device is on. Print a test page. Double press the power button when the device is on. Um, then they have the indicators. If it's blinking slow, it's on standby. If it's blinking fast, it's charging. So it's charging. Um, if it's solid blue, then Bluetooth is connected. If it's red, blinking slowly, battery is low and it's on standby. If it's blinking fast, then battery is low and it's charging. Um, if the light is solid red, then the battery is low and the Bluetooth is connected. All right, um, then they have the dimensions, charging time, and all of that. So it takes about four and a half to five hours to charge completely. Um, and the battery capacity capacity is 1500 milliamp hours. Um, all right, so it kind of sucks that you can't charge it faster, but that's what it does. I don't know how many you can print out with a single charge, all right? It has the DPI and the print width, 12 millimeters, Bluetooth, USB type C. And yeah, okay, safety precautions, you probably won't read that, but don't disassemble it, don't wipe it with corrosive chemicals and cleaning agents, and don't put it near fire. Um, okay, it says don't let kids to play with it. <sighs> okay, turn it off immediately if water gets into it, and if it malfunctions, turn it off, obviously. Use a power adapter, always use one that is safe. Okay, do not disassemble. Obvious stuff, battery contains um, some special protection circuit, so don't disassemble the battery. Uh, don't expose to high temperature or humidity, and then if smoke smell comes out, to unplug it. All right, then they got FCC stuff here, stuff that nobody probably cares about, but just in case for some reason we need this, it's here. Okay, and then they have some Canadian information there, and then it looks like there's some stuff in French. All right, and then they have this. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let me see why I can't get it connected. Maybe I have to just go to Bluetooth devices and try and do it manually. So I'm gonna go to my <coughs> Bluetooth, and we can see this thing here. They have a printer option, and then they have this device. So let's try the printer option and see if that does anything. Pair it. It went in there. <laughs> Let's try this one. App is needed to use this. Okay, so that won't work except for with the app, as you can see when I do that one. But this one added as a printer, so that's kind of weird. All right, let's see here again. So let's try connecting to it. And now it connected. <laughs> okay, so maybe I had to add it to Bluetooth before I could do that. And here you can see now they have template. They have, uh, what else? Um, scanning mode, current consumables in the printer, label printer not recognized, please use... Oh, okay, so it doesn't detect the stuff. So let's open this, and we'll put this in. Oops. Okay, so the way they said to put it in, I guess make sure it's rolled tight, but you put this in, and then you have this sticking out. I don't want to waste a whole label. Do I? Is that what I have to do? <laughs> okay, so we'll pull this out, and... Let's see if I try and close it without making it stick all the way out. It's probably going to cause some problems, but I put the paper in there. And here you can see now, use current consumables in the printer. Um, anyways, so we got that, and it's showing T15 by 30 by 210 white. Okay, 30 by 5. And then you can log in to get um, different tabs or, or templates. What's this new thing? Okay, so you can name your printer, it looks like. Oh no, it's just asking if you have a different printer, so that's fine. Uh, template name to create a tag, label with. Okay, this is if you're doing like some new template or something, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Uh, direct thermal, synthetic paper, then they have paper type, gap and transparent, paper output direction, I don't know what changing this is for, but whatever. Okay, we'll leave that alone. And then they have me. You can check your Bluetooth device. You can activate VIP mode for more stuff if you wanna change more things. Tags, documents, settings, all this other stuff. I don't know what all this is for. Clear cache, font management, switch language, debug. Okay, we're just gonna try making one right now. Okay, so we'll go home. We'll pick this and then, okay, click on the picture to edit can't do anything. 
Okay, anyways, there's this. They have the label. They have the information there. Paper output direction. Go out. Okay, template. What is all this stuff? <laughs> okay, what does it say? Template, and then there's so much information on this thing. Okay, after you do that, current label template on the home tab to enter the label editor. Wait, what? Okay, so it says use current, I'm guessing you tap this, and then you tap this, and then, okay, next, we don't need to zoom, one key recovery, what is all this? View Excel data, done, okay. So here you can uh, double tap this, and then you can, I guess, edit it, right? No? <laughs> How do I edit the text? Gimme. Double click, oh, <clears throat> I don't know why it's saying double click there, you just type it down here. Okay, I'm gonna put my name and then thing is how do I know if it's centered or not that's gonna be kind of annoying is there a is there a button to auto center what is this what's this no one by one settings mode label width label height direct paper gap blah 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 Okay, I'm just going to do it simple way. So what I'm going to do, because, oh, this just zooms into the thing. So it doesn't zoom, does it zoom this? How do you, how can you make the font larger? Can you? Maybe not. You can stretch this box, but I don't need to do that. Okay, so you, I guess you can resize it like that, or you can resize it like this. Um... But uh, yeah, I don't want to save that. So we're going to try doing it again. Now that the text is right in the middle, I'm going to just do it again. Okay, like this. And it's not in the middle. Oh, okay. Here's more stuff here. So you have text, barcode, QR code. So if you want to put a QR code, I guess you can set what you want the QR code to be. And then you can make whatever you want. Um, how can I easily delete this stuff? If I hold this, can I delete it? Okay, I guess you have to press delete, and there we go, okay. Um, then they have QR code, you can make a table, you can do an image, you can scan, serial number, and insert um, text. I don't know how accurate it would print out images. Let me see if I take a photo of something. So I'm gonna allow it to take photos. Okay, and let's see what happens if I take a picture of this and see what it shows. So we got this. I guess it kind of works. So I guess you can put a picture there. Um, okay, I'm gonna delete that one. Um, scan, serial number, insert text, and table. I'm gonna try taking a picture of myself and see what happens. So the label doesn't auto center, which kind of annoys me. I wish, I wish it had like a centering option, but I don't know, I don't see one. Okay, oh here, if I press that, let's see, character arrangement. So you can change this. I guess you can make it like that or like this. Um, you can center it this way. Does it have center like in the middle? Wrap word, reverse type, so you can make it, oh. Um, okay, if you turn on reverse type effect to display the content in a more prominent way, then it will make it black and white like that. Okay. Pretty sure that will waste more power because the black happens when it like heats it or something. Okay, so we can align. Okay, so here they have the align options. So I'm assuming, there we go. Okay, so now you can align center and you can align this center and you can manually like move it up and down. Okay, so they do have the option I was looking for. Um, style. So they have all of that. If you want, you can do like larger font. Okay, so that works because that's what I was looking for. But can I like stretch it to the entire thing? I don't know. Let's see, larger, okay, that works. So I can have my entire name fill up the box and then we can just <clears throat> do it like that. Then we'll go to align, align it middle and there. Then we have different fonts, so if you want, you can select different fonts, um, but I'll probably just 
keep it the same unless people want oh it looks like you you can only use these three fonts unless you get vip mode then or i guess there's more here but if you want more fonts like some fonts you have to pay for so that's kind of annoying then they have different languages here okay so that's kind of cool all right i guess it's just using harmony os sans or whatever okay then you can change the spacing, you can do the line spacing, whatever kerning is. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Okay, so we'll turn that off. They have, what is this? Content import, so you can import like Excels and stuff. And, what is this? Multiply, so you can make, I guess, multiple of the same. No, what's that? <laughs> okay, so I push that, single, single selection mode. Oh! It's so you can select multiple items at once so you can move them at the same time. Um, let's go back to align and align that again. Then mirror if you want to flip it. Okay. I don't know what just happened. So I guess if you mirror it automatically um, makes another one. <laughs> Wait, what the? Oh, so you can make two if you want. I thought it would just make a flipped version. I guess there's no point flipping it because you can just turn the label upside down, right? So we'll undo the mirroring, align it back. Okay, then they have lock so that you can't move it around if you want to add other stuff. Okay, then they have copy and you can make a second one. Get rid of that. Then they have rotate if you want to rotate it 90 degrees. And then that way, I think if you do the, where's that style? No, you still can't vertically this what is this how do you use this mode i don't know anyways we'll just rotate it back over and then they have an undo option and a re redo option okay so you can undo and redo okay and i think that's pretty much it so let's go ahead let me try doing a picture real quick um how do i do that element okay image take photo take a picture of myself okay let's uh, close that one let's try again okay so we took a picture and what's that oh no I need to redo let's do it again <laughs> Okay, so you can take a photo, and then if you want, you can, like, crop it. Uh, where's the, okay, crop mode? So you can, like, cut out the stuff you don't want. I don't know how well it will come out, but let's see. Okay, so let's say we use that. And so we'll make a picture like this. So you could technically, like, put a picture there if you want. You can put your picture in there. And then... And then I can uh, change the name to be smaller. So font size. And then you can put like your name there. So if you really wanted, you can put your name and your, a picture there. And then you can print that. So yeah, I kind of don't really want that. I don't really need my picture there. But you can put that if you want. So let me actually just print one just to try it. Because why not? Okay. And the label is rounded. So... I don't know how much of it's going to cut off, but we'll try this. It's too dark there, so you'd have to make sure to get a good picture to where it doesn't get messed up. So let me see if I can get a better picture. Let's see if it will stay like... Um, well lit or if it's going to be still where I have like a black eye but let's see okay so we got that and there you go it's a little bit better and then we can just kind of move that over there and then I'm going to push this we're going to align it in the center oops not there line it in the center mess that up okay so line that center after I put this here so we'll center that and then, so we can have a little name tag like that. 
make sure that's in. I'm gonna move that over here. It's okay if it chops off the edges. Okay, line that up a bit more. Okay, and we'll align it. And I think you can add, yeah, you can use pictures from your album. So we'll see like this. Okay, and then let's go ahead and try and print it. So we'll print this. You can do print, I don't know what print density is for. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know what that means. We'll leave it at, I think it was at two, so we'll try it. Okay, so now we'll say print and let's see what happens. Pooped one out. Okay, and which way does it tear? Okay, and then you tear it this way. So tear it like that. And there we go. So we got a label, it has the name there, and it has the picture. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out and helped you decide if you want one of these or not. Let's try printing one more. Um, this time I'll print it without my face on it. So we'll get rid of this. Um, I guess we can save this. Oh, actually, you need to log in to save. So if you want to save your labels, you got to log in. Anyways, we're going to delete that. And now we're just gonna um, center it completely and we'll just make the thing as big as you want. So we'll do, oops, not that, get rid of that. Go to this and we'll change the font size to make it bigger. Okay, and then we will align it. And there we go. So now we can do that. And then let's try printing another one. Print another one. And there we go now it's actually more centered so that looks good anyways that's it hopefully this video helped thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one let's drop this spike